Ooh, oh, we're on to Ooh, three one. Three one. Start this episode. Is that glass? Yes. I hope so. Because mine's over here. You see, I told you, Dutch courage, half a bottle, and I'm doing well. That's a bit much. That's no, not sure. Oh, I'm telling you when it's enough. <laughs> it's still not enough. Close to the nation's capital. Everything starts to sink. Oh, you poor die eating your cherry. Go to the There's no cherry. How dare you? Maybe it's just to deal with raspberry. Raspberries. <laughs> always raspberries. You know, it's always strawberries. Yet they have their own authority to execute Now that's yoga. That's what I mean. They are dedicated to the Whereas raspberries. There's only one person that give me raspberries. Loon Star! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I think I nearly spilled my stuff on my lap. Marcus Vaughn, age 34. Surgeon to Brooke California. California. Valerie Blaylock, age 28. Surgeon. Place of birth, North Carolina. See, it doesn't even taste strong. The cherry's got a bit of a ooh to it. Oh, Elena yeah. Salazar. Very Shenmue kind of stuff. Herbidera cheese berries. Mm. I'm getting there. Well, he already did have cherries and cheese. Yeah. Oh, I don't. Awesomeness. Now. Sign here. And on the and What's the going on with all the band pots? The I am Dyson fans. And they look like toilets. Why the sour Urinals. Excuse me. You're forming a new team. Just watering the plants. What is this an anti-stigma measure? You mean is it a result of Professor Wilkins' procedure? Yes, it yeah. is. If she flips you off like that. <laughs> well, we've had this plan for a long time. Though the discovery of stigma did hasten its establishment. Well, nothing steadies my hand. I can't help it. Things will be easier on you since it's such a small team. Ah. Thanks for your concern. I have wires. Going in. We'll be dealing with mainly new diseases. We're going to be dealing with manly new diseases. Manly diseases. Space invaders. Yeah. I hope that won't affect. Open them up. Leave it to you to think of that, Marcus. When all he thinks of is money. No need to worry. No need to worry. We've got you a penthouse. We'll be referring plenty of patients to you. Oh, fab. Special cases which may require the healing touch. Well, that's good to hear. Your job description won't change much either, Elena. You'll be helping him. I want sweet cheese now. I like cheese with cranberries. With the operations it's always cranberries. Thank you very much. I'll do my best. I'll do Just my best. Concordia. Then, the first thing I'd like you to do is become familiar with Caduceus. Well, we all wear and white tuxedos, son. Whatever information you have on stick. Neck friends. <laughs> neck chiefs. I right, neck chiefs. <laughs> Regarding that matter. Ah, press the fucking advert we instead of checking. Get away. In one operation. There's really not much for us to disclose. Especially since Professor Wilkins kept a tight lid on all the data. Mm. That's all right. Just tell us whatever you know. You may be surprised at how much you recall. Extraordinary events leave deep imprints on our memory. Mm. Ooh, we're struggling with the corny box tonight. To live up to your high expectations. Oh, see, there is. I was wondering. Are we going to be questioned about the disappearance of the professor? Let's see how many of these there is. A million. Won't be necessary. Damn, son, this is going to be a long series. There were 20 of them. There's seven episodes. This is a and we're only on number three. We are. It's a hospital and a police academy. Do the operation. I still feel uneasy about this. Miss Zedder. <laughs> I just can't. Okay. Can't handle sure it. <laughs> I hope we can cover it. Now, this is your office. That is a sucky office. Well, do you know what it reminds us of? Right, it's an office that just so happens no. to have beds in it. But look at the chair. 
It's like a dentist chair, but white. <laughs> exactly. Oh, just imagine a trauma center dentist. Trauma dentist. Dentist center. Stand still, but I guess you. Your responsibilities won't be much different than they were in the past. So a very sexy look there, night shirt and wellies. Even though you're now members of Caduceus, you're still first and foremost doctors. We dedicate ourselves to research here, but at the same time, we regular patients who have all the money. A major part of your duties will be to keep your skills sharp. Well, it can't be any worse than Concordia. I mean, we weren't exactly welcome there. Yeah, there were. Yeah, there were. Yeah. Still were. Let's take what arguments did they have at the start of Concordia? Basically, what everybody did is they didn't argue with them. They were all passive aggressive at them. And then Russo was a dick. Stand my office. Could you fuck fire? Slap. Is shit going on with this? Oh, Dr. Everett. Oh, Dr. Everett. Hi. Director. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Studios. This is Dr. Everett, our chief surgeon. Yo, he brother. Like it looks like Forrest Whitaker. Something wrong. I've got. Cholelithiasis. I was going to ask Dr. Suji to remove the gallstones. But I can't find it anywhere. Can't, anywhere. Uh, can't, can't take, take this, this anymore. anymore. Director, can you fragment them for me, please? I wish I could, but I'm expecting. I'm a expecting visit a visit shortly. Why don't we allow two new guys try? But I can't stand the pain any longer. Uh. Are these the new doctors you were talking about? Don't I look like he's got a... Please help us here. One of those things. Skull cap. There we go. I was going to call it a Jew hat. <laughs> but that wasn't exactly what it was That's just the most epic bowl cut ever. <laughs> All he's done is get a sharpie and colour the top of his fucking head in. I'll even suture myself when it's over. I know this is sudden, but... Would you mind? Would you mind? Do you know when I started my oh, job, right? Dr. Everett, I, I just had to do a couple of extra days. Uh, two days in, can you do 14 days in a row? Yeah, I suppose. But, uh, you know, this. You just start a new. Oh. Let me explain the chart. I'm sure it looks like all she's doing is wearing a bra underneath that top. It's like a bikini. Three years? Three years? These things are gonna be like golf balls. Yes. I've told him repeatedly to admit himself to the ward and have it treated. However, it seems he's far more interested in taking care of patients than himself. The bad man. Typical doctor, neglecting his own needs. I guess that just goes to show how passionate Dr. Everett is about his job. But he can't do his job if he's ill. Oh, my groin. Oh, excuse me, please continue. <laughs> We'll use a laser to fragment the gallstone in this operation. Get lasers, Batman. <laughs> Please extract the gallbladder as well during the procedure. So we'll be taking care of the cause of his pain as well. Well, I must be going. I'll leave the rest, leave to, you the rest three, to you three. Because I don't deal with peasants. Okay, let's get started. So does the operation change depending on who you are? I don't know. Oh, we're going to sign. And slice this time. We will now begin the operation. Right. I'll Please stop. disinfect the Inject incision the area and open him up. Oh, good man. Whoops. No, we're not, apparently. <laughs> we're all good. First, we'll be fragmenting the gallstones passing through the ductal epithelium. If a gallstone passes completely through the epithelium, the patient's vitals will right. drop. Right, so basically I use... Let's begin by using the ultrasound to locate the gallstones. There's a gallstone. Use the laser to break it up. The gallstone has been fragmented. Let's begin extracting the gallbladder as well. First, inject the sedative into the gallbladder. Is this a gallbladder? That's it. We can't remove it all at That's okay. Let's cut it into multiple segments before we... And don't forget to use the laser on the gallstone. You keep an eye on the right. laser, okay? I'll right, do this. Please begin cutting off the first segment. The cut has caused hemorrhaging. Drain the blood. If the blood is if the gallstone has split into two parts. Use the laser to fragment both halves as well. The patient's the second segment all right. has been cut off. It's all right. I'm trying to fragmenting the gallstones. Now, I'm trying to keep this thing up, but he's losing segment. shit. Get a little sorted. 
I'm out of For God's sake! Keep his vitals up. I'm trying. We'll get these uber vitals going. I'm draining you. Again, man, again. What is there a brush so, here for? I it. You make noises. I can do this. Let me. Yeah! <laughs> I come from the Star Wars brand of. Uh, uh, stitching people up. See, I think we're playing on normal mode, actually. We are. Are we? I think so. Because you went, let's just go normal, shall we? I was like, but why? And then you were like, because, son, we're dogs. Exactly. That's why we're getting Z's, we're getting A's and everything on easy. And easy was just too easy. You see, she had a cord on as well. That wasn't an emergency surgery. All it did was take us... No, we always his own thing. He walked in and went. To get our feet wet. Do it! Ah, we got our feet wet. In his blood! <laughs> They're dying! We've got a cream for that, son. You're leaving? <laughs> yeah, I've heard it kind of goes from being. Well, we did the pacemaker on the last um, recording session, right? And Jesus, that took a fucking shit load. Oh, the hell no one said I'm trying to think. I mean, is it half a bottle's enough? <laughs> we need anesthetic. We'll meet to discuss it's a neck it. Does it get louder? I mean, ha la 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 la. Like she said, we always do our best. It's probably going to be the mind. worst fucking game ever. I don't mind as long as it doesn't get battled towards Rage Sigh. Um, rage Hard. Yeah. Questions and answers. We've got like a thing that's so, so what, something's gonna happen. I can live with a C setup. It's gonna go to put a pencil behind your ear and stab it off in the face. Wow, you assisted in an operation on your first day here. You must be good. We didn't assist. We did it. We are good. No, it's the doctors who are good. I'm just fortunate to be working with them. Sounds like you work well with them. In my case, it depends on who I'm assisting. I get a Do you know I've still got the last part the of the recording of Battle Towards? Mm, yes. Might get around to editing it, throw it on YouTube at some point. Forget I said anything. By the way, Ms. Newman, about the operating room support system. Oh, call me Leslie. Everyone else does. Call me Leslie. You can be now, my bodyguard and never be a long lost pal. Boo, 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 boo. It'll probably take some time. But once you get used to it, you'll be able to update an e-chart in a snap. I prefer pencils and paper. Want to give it a try in a vacant OR? I'd love to. She'd love to. Regarding this new disease, which has tentatively been named stigma. We received a report from the National Security Council and have begun an independent investigation. Mm. Its threat level is unknown, but I can say that the pathogen possesses astonishing mobility. It was unclear whether it even existed until now. Ooh. But the Wilkins case put an end to the debate. So we kind of thought, mm. And we are basing that assumption on the testimony of our two new doctors, yes? Oh, pardon me. I'm Kana Aitsuji, a surgeon here. It's nice to meet you both. You sound very oriental. You're absolutely correct, Kanae. 
She can't even do surgery. Oh. 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 The information provided by Dr. Vaughn and Dr. Blaylock is highly reliable. Our own investigation at Concordia also validates the theory, oh. and it's worth noting. Do you know what else? No. I need a backboard. Professor Wilkins was conducting all the research on his own, without help from other doctors. We spent less than a month there following our transfer from Alaska. But during that time, the professor seemed somewhat paranoid about an information leak. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I'm surprised there was a leak, no matter how small. Because Russo is part of it. You see, he's looking well now with his pencil. Without being. Uh, look at his Batman eyebrow. With his Microsoft Paint beard. Let's try to make do with the information we have at hand. At this point, the research can no longer be left exclusively to Wilkins. It's now the concern of our entire organization. So hold on, was Wilkins part of Caducius? Probably. What? What? Right. <laughs> Prior to your transfer here, we received reports. I'm so tempted when editing kicks in every time you just say it. What? To <laughs> put in a fucking fierce thing of clip. stone cold. <laughs> We're going like that. Yeah. Every single time. Nothing was conclusive. If any new cases occur, they should now be reported to Caduceus International. It's unfortunate, though, that Professor Wilkins' data was destroyed. He destroyed it himself. Am I the only one here who feels uneasy about this? I'm not uneasy about his hairdo. We're it's just kind of. It literally is. He's got the sharpie style of head. You know what it is? Sharpie style of beard. You as know well. what it is? Mm -hmm. He probably just has like From a little on, box with uh, like a, a colorant in, in and like a. He's got like a pen. Look at you, and he just and chokes the top of his head. The patients will be transferred to this facility whenever possible. He's just gonna chalk the top of his head. Really? Yeah, stuck on Q-tip. Yo. General the operating Q -tip. surgeons will be Dr. Vaughn, their prior experience... Not as in a snoo Q-tip, not as in a Q-tip cotton bud thing. I personally stand behind... 100%! 100%! One million dollars! ...witness their expertise very soon. Because they'll be operating on me! the infamous healing touch. How is it infamous? Should be famous? Let's get that shit down. I'm gonna wreck these turrets. Damn son, things aren't going good here, yeah, like. eh? I got a feeling this is gonna be it. Holy shit. How about you, Lob? I. Ah! 